In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, it's all about video. Hello and welcome to episode 58 of my Working with Evernote series and in this week's episode I want to show you how you can actually put video into a note in Evernote. Now the question is why would you do that? Now I actually got this idea from Steve Dotto's Dotto Tech uh, videos. This was, this was probably from some time last year where he was showing you how you could actually develop an online course using Evernote and it sort of gave me an idea for those of you guys who are managing people or managing a team of people and you want to use video to show people how to do something related to your work. It could be that you're developing a training manual now, if this is something that you're setting up on your own and the company is not providing any resources for you to develop an online, uh, a, a training manual for your staff, then this is a really good way of doing it because you can record some screenshot videos on how to do something. You can then put the videos into Evernote and then share the note with your team. It's just a really good way of using Evernote in an alternative way because we often talk about Evernote as capturing your ideas, capturing your notes and just getting them down into a place that you can later find them. But Evernote is so much more than that and you can use it in so many different ways. The share functionality of Evernote gives you a whole different level of resources that you can share with your team, with your friends and with your family. So in this episode, I want to show you how the two ways that I've discovered that you can actually put video into Evernote. And let's see if you can come up with some wonderful ways of using this functionality. Because as I say, Evernote has so many different levels that you can use it. And I really want to show you just some of the ways that you can use it. So this week's episode, I'm going to focus on how you can actually put video into your Evernote. So let's get straight into that and have a look right now. Okay, let's start a new note and we're going to call this one uh, video test. And let's have a look at what you can do. Now, one of the things in Evernote, particularly if you're using it from the computer, is drag files here or just start typing. So drag files here. Now, I've never really covered this, the number of different file types that you can actually save to Evernote. But the truth is you can actually save pretty much anything, Word files, uh, keynote files, PowerPoint files, Excel files, whatever you want to save into Evernote, it will save them in there. Now, if you're using many different devices like I do, so I have Evernote on my tab, on my iPad, my iPhone, my laptop, on my desktop, all my applications are universal, so they you I can use them all on all my devices. If you're one of those people, for example, who have a keynote and pages. Uh, on your laptop but you have an Android phone and a and some other kind of Android version tablet maybe the different formats are not always going to work but if you're in the Apple ecosystem or just the Google ecosystem you can actually take advantage of this and just drop whatever documents you want into Evernote but that also means you can drop video into there as well so if I just give you an example so we're going to open up my Dropbox because that's where I keep most of my things I have a current projects folder here and I'm going to go into my Udemy course because I have some videos in there here's my promo videos all I have to do is uh, collect a, like a, a promo video and I can just drag it into Evernote like this now what has happened is you're not going to get the video player up but if you click on the eye you will get the video so I can click on the eye and it brings the video up so I can just watch that in um, Evernote as you can see this is not actually using QuickTime player this is actually using the uh, preview of my Mac to show this particular video 
So that's one way you can watch it from there. Now I'm I'm not going to show you how to do the uh, show you on your on your mobile phone, but if you are using Evernote on your mobile phone, this video will just play through your uh, vid normal com phones video player so it's still there you can watch the video directly from your phone without actually leaving or appearing to leave Evernote. Now of course there is the other way of doing this which is to use a regular video. You can actually put links to your um, <clears throat> Evan, uh, your YouTube account and in this particular case I can just pick up say my last week's video on procrastination and I can just um, take um, a copy the URL and just post the, the URL into my um, Evernote and again what will happen here is if I click on that it will take me directly to that video um, <laughs> there we go. You hear enough of my voice. So there are those are the two ways that I have discovered that you can put video into directly into Evernote. Now, just be very careful here. What you can do is if you I'm very lucky here, this collect not store video is only 7.8 megabytes. It's not very much. But if you were trying to store big video files in there, which have a huge um, data then you're going to very quickly find that you're at your Evernote monthly ceiling so be very careful with that one and you could if you wish uh, put a link to a Google Docs a Google Drive file very easily as well so and Google Drive has its own video player so there are many ways that you can actually put video in but I always find that this is a really good way if you wanted to teach your staff or you wanted to show video share video with other people then you can use Evernote to do that okay I hope you found this useful what I will do is I'll put a link to Steve Dotto's video in the comment section below so you can have a look at the original one from Steve Dotto but it is just a really good way if you wanted to share notes and if you wanted to create a training file for your staff then this is a good way to do it Okay, I hope you all have a very, very productive weekend and I will see you in the next episode.